Hello, welcome from uh, Midstronic, uh, from Netherlands. Yes, that's right, from Holland. So, yes. from Holland. Uh, in every my test, I am trying to explain how this tester functions. I am talking about uh, uh, temperature compensation, I am talking about conductation. Uh, can you explain for a simple human how it functions and what it measures? Yeah, of course, no problem. Well, um, this is the MDX 545. So MDX 500, new, new one. Yeah, it's the newest one, it's the latest one with the start stop batteries included as well. Mm -hmm. um, basically what it does, there is an, uh, an algorithm behind it, so it's the conductance measurement. Mm -hmm. So it measures, it sends a signal through the battery mm -hmm. and it checks whether it's still healthy or not. So whether it's still capable of starting the car, for example. Mm -hmm. Well, just um, over here we've got some different um, test types. This is an example, battery start stop. Yeah, that's right. This one's an AGM. Mm -hmm. And so you have an, uh, there's a battery test, so you can also select a new battery test, so there's an, oh. another... Uh, it's only good or bad? No, no, you can have a, a good, mm -hmm. a good recharge, so it's still fine, but oh. you need to charge it. There's also an area called charge and retest, mm -hmm. so we're not entirely sure whether it's good or bad, mm -hmm. but you need to charge the menu. Let's do a test. Okay. We've got AGM now. We've got AGM now, so we, we select a, a start-stop uh, test, so that mm -hmm. means okay, we're going to test the start-stop battery. Mm -hmm. I'll select Enter. Uh, there, there, there is no different uh, step, uh, AGM or AFB? Well, it's after this. Oh, after, okay. Yeah, so now we have to choose is it, yeah, in the vehicle or out of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Well, at the moment it's out of the vehicle. Oh, yeah. There, there's a question. So is it enhanced flow? So it's a full yes. battery with mm -hmm. even enhanced for start stop vehicles? Or is it an, an AGM, AGM one? No, it's an AGM. So we can select it. And there is a standard. Ah, oh, standard. There's a standard one. But this is a, it's a different one, of course. So we select um, this one. Oh, so there are yeah. the ratings. Mm -hmm. so this is very important to know. You really have to uh, look on the battery, mm -hmm. what kind of rating you yes. have to choose. Uh, so for example, mm -hmm. we see over here, uh, 800 Europe. EN. Mm -hmm. So EN is on top, since it's the European norm, so it's the most uh, uh, used for the most uh, times. 200, well, it's now 795, this is 800. So we select that one. Enter. Here's the test. It will take approximately eight to nine seconds in total. So, well, this is the result. Mm -hmm. Can you print? Yeah, of course. I'll print. Let's try it again. And what we knew now? Well, we see on the printout. So first of all, it's a good one. So that's mm -hmm. that's a good news. Oh, good. Uh, good it's, it's a good okay. battery. So that's that's good news of it. So it messages the, the volt. So mm -hmm. the volt as well. So it's. Um, this 12, 60. 12, 60 is very good. So when mm -hmm. the battery it's is fully charged. Charge is at 12.7, mm -hmm. but already um, at a uh, voltage of 12 is already really empty. So we have a range between 11.7 mm -hmm. yes, yes. and 12.7. Yes. I that's, understand. That's the full range. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then now we measure the 7, 714. So this, this is very important to know about the conductor signal. Mm -hmm. So uh, the battery should, uh, uh, when it's really new, you can measure 800. Mm -hmm. EN. How he uh, calculated this uh, There's this information? There is an entire uh, algorithm behind, of course. Mm -hmm. So we know a lot about batteries, and we know okay what's a good and a bad battery. Mm -hmm. So we, we take two different, uh, two very important parameters. So one is the voltage, and the other one is CCA readings. CCA which is, readings. CCA. So CCA. So yeah, so this is a conductive reading mm -hmm. what we do. And now in this case, um, this is very good. So mm -hmm. when, when you see, for example, the the, the percentage, it's we can we can. High. This battery can be charged to uh, 1275 and this uh, measure uh, parameter will be better. Yeah, perhaps. perhaps. So sure. it, it also de uh, depends on the play material inside, mm -hmm. inside the battery, so when it's rather new, yeah, you can win some, mm -hmm. uh, some CDA readings in the perspective. But it can also be okay, this, this is it, a little bit degraded, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit... You know, uh, so algorithm is a mystery. Yes, that's the big mystery. <laughs> big mystery. Yeah, that's that behind. So all those um, uh, parameters, so like voltage mm -hmm. and the CCA rings, the like conductance measurement, mm -hmm. you're going to calculate. So within the few seconds that you have, and then there's mm -hmm. the end result. Yeah. Uh, but your equipment uh, work uh, in the battery factory too. Uh, well. I saw in a few factories that they using uh, bigger uh, equipment than this. Yeah, that's an end of line. So when mm -hmm. the line. Yeah, so there's an end of line uh, production, for example, mm -hmm. batteries, and they check at the end of the line mm -hmm. whether the battery still uh, is good, good mm -hmm. enough for their standards, and they will try it with an, uh, with an EXP, for mm -hmm. example. So that's a, a different product line that we have as well. What's new in uh, Midstronic offers? Well, we got a lot of new things. So that's a little. Do you have time? Enough time? Yeah, too? of course. Okay. So this is uh, uh, this is the newest new thing that we have. Oh. There's still prototype uh, software on it. 
I saw very similar product on Excite. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a uh, it's, it's a little bit of the same uh, platform, mm -hmm. but then we customize it for um, for Excite. A bit of the same as we have with the MDX, but the big difference is, mm -hmm. is that with the MDX series, we have just we are just measuring the uh, yeah with, with conductors readings a CCA, so mm -hmm. better. Uh, the battery is still able to start the car, but with the new vehicles we see as well that the battery has another role. So you mm -hmm. also need to, um, well, the batteries should be able to maintain all the accessories within the car. For example, during a stop event, yeah. so you drive through a traffic light, yeah. you shut the engine, if the engine shuts up, mm -hmm. and there's still your navigation, your, CD, your air conditioning, mm -hmm. and etc. So you still uh, are drawing current from the battery. Yeah. <laughs> what we're doing with this, this, this device, if we measure that as well, mm -hmm. so we measure two things. But first of all, whether it's still able to start the car, mm -hmm. and how does it behave within a start-stop environment? So we're not testing this system at all, mm -hmm. but the battery within the start-stop system. Uh, so can you show me? Yeah, of course, no problem at all. Uh, here's already an uh, end result. I'm not sure whether we want to mm -hmm. try again. Um, but I think it's good to know. So this is a new look, new look and feel. Mm -hmm. So we work with apps now instead of just lines. Like Windows. Like yeah, like like, like boxes. It is a, it is an Android uh, Android based mm -hmm. perspective, but then now let's do a test. Mm -hmm. so we, we can choose a new vehicle test, now a vehicle test, or a new battery test. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly the same as what we have what we have with the MDX series. Mm -hmm. We can also test motorcycle batteries mm -hmm. that are this behind it. Uh, let's go for the uh, the other vehicle. So here we have all the choices again. So in this case, yeah, it is an, uh, it is now the motor battery, but we can also select uh, mm -hmm. the motorcycle, for example. Well. The battery posts, they're on top of the batteries, sometimes they're at the side post or somewhere, somewhere else, but now they're just on the top, so we can leave it as well. Now the option is it the battery type, well just leave it, leave it on the, what it is. It is fluid battery. And, uh, this is the EFV battery, and you can see... EFV? Oh. Yeah, so we enhance fluid enhanced battery, fluid battery. battery. Okay. So let's, let's do that, just like the EFV. Then, the battery units again, so it's, um, uh, in this case... 510. Yeah, um, okay. oh, EN. Uh, yeah. So it's very, uh, uh, very important to see it as well. So it's an EN one. Yeah. So we select the EN. Battery rating is 510. So you can hold it. There we are. Select OK. And start. And so here's also something different. Now we, have, oh. we need to uh, measure the, the temperature as well. Uh, temperature where? Uh, at outside the at the battery. Yeah, okay. So like it's already said on the screen, to so aim the temperature set, temperature sensor at the uh, at the battery mm -hmm. because that's the most important thing. So yeah, the, temperature uh, is very important. Yeah, so not the surroundings, but it's, it's quite warm in surroundings. Mm -hmm. But when you oh. go over there, it's like 22. So capture it. Well, and this is the actual test. And what's happening now is both doing a conductance test mm -hmm. and a uh, conductance profiling test. And conductance profiling is a new technology which we uh, use for testing start-stop batteries. So that's something new. Since something they have new. Yeah, since, since they have a, a different role within the vehicles mm -hmm. nowadays, it is quite important to measure as well. CPX900 uh, is in your offer now? Yeah, we are finalizing it right now, so this is still prototype software, mm -hmm. but we will uh, release it in the coming months, so it's still this year. Uh, do you know price? Yeah, we're working on it right now, uh, we're working on it at the moment, mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's around the same level as, as for example, the 655 MDX, so a little bit, uh, yeah. Oh, the same price. price can be good. Yeah, but, but we're finalizing it right now, so uh, we will inform the marketplace uh, mm -hmm. as soon as possible. So now this, this test will take a little bit longer than, mm -hmm. than we used it from the MX yeah. uh, uh, 5 and 600 series since it's also applying the load and yeah, it's, it's doing a better measurement than, yeah, than, we, uh, than we're used to. Well, there's the result. So we have a few different things over here. So first of all, it's a good recharge. That's a very important thing to know. It is a good battery, although you need to charge it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can, uh, you can strand with the vehicle or it can be discharged quite uh, rather soon. But still, um, so we created it at 501 EN. Looking at the voltage, you see it's, all, it's already rather low. low. So that's what the reason for him to say, okay, you need to, char uh, to charge it again. Well, the measurement of the ENs is, is quite high, so it's, it's, a, it's a really good battery internally. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the temperature we know and the battery type is an EV. And looking over here, oh, sorry, we got a little bit of explanation 
Battery is good, but low on the charge. Yeah, exactly. So fully charged battery for optimal performance of life. Very Definitely good information for service. Exactly. So this is also very important mm -hmm. to know and to explain for the customers as well. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it is good. It is fine. We need to charge it. So mm -hmm. that's very important. Oh, here, this is the. Um, Reserve health. So this, yeah, so this has to do with the reserve capacity, which mm -hmm. I thought, uh, talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. So, whether it's still able to provide all the power to mm -hmm. the electronic systems within the car. So, that's fine. This battery is fine to do it. You can place it so it charges as well. But it's fine. Very good equipment. I am yeah. interested to buy it. <laughs> no, that's good news. Thank you very much. I will buy it, I'm, I'm sure. Well, and then we have, of course, the newest, uh, uh, like Wi Fi, Bluetooth, mm -hmm. everything is in there. So we we can uh, connect it to computer? Yeah, now we can up since it's prototype software. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, but, I understand. But the idea is to oh, send, send results and you can choose oh, how you email it. Perfect. Or there's a printer on it as well. Yeah. But this one has a printer and we also have one without a printer. Um, so yeah, this just according to the latest specs, just to everything is in the air uh, at the moment. So this, uh, this one as well. Mm -hmm. Well, and then when we're done, yeah. you can perfect. Like that. Leon, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.